Welcome back to Inside Tennessee. For the record, I'm going to the chicken scratch. Uh, just your state predictions for winners. Don, you had uh, road builders would benefit from the billions in road building. Uh, your loser was women's reproductive rights, and your issue was predicted to be DCS and salvaging that. Susan, your winner uh, was Dwight Tarwater. Uh, loser, ectopic pregnancy, and your issue was transportation and infrastructure. So just keep that in mind. Pretty good picks. So let's go straight to national and the 2023 prediction. Don, you predicted the winner nationally in 2023 would be National Democrats. You sticking with that? That, that still holds, but that's not what I'm going to give tonight or okay. today, this morning. Uh, Special United States Assistant Attorney Jack Smith. Uh, he has effectively brought charges against Donald Trump in both Mar-a-Lago and Washington, D.C., two cases, and they are running a clean, uh, bright, thoughtful prosecution. Um, and Trump will have his chance to defend himself in court, but they're, uh, it is impressive watching what they're doing. Susan, in 2023, you predicted it would be a senator from Arizona. Senator. Yeah, yep. she sort of faded from the. Oh, from I don't, the I don't know if she's going to be so, there next yeah. year. Who yeah. is your pick? My pick for this year, I know this will shock you, it's got to be Donald Trump. I mean, this man has been indicted four times. He's been kicked off the ballot in Colorado. He's the Energizer Bunny. He's still leading in the polls against DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy. He's ahead by 40 or 50 points in the polling. How can he not be the national winner for 2023? I wish we had a whole nother show for me to respond. <laughs> well, we'll try. Uh, your loser was going to be Kevin McCarthy. Who is it? For this year, <clears throat> it's got to be President Biden. This man, they floated Bidenomics out there for about two days, and then the Republicans picked it up. We have inflation. We have the southern border. We have two wars we're involved in. Joe Biden didn't know how to get off the stage most of the time. Very concerned about his cognitive um, uh, issues. And he... he he can't be the nominee for the Democrats. He can't be. Don, your loser matched Susan's last year as a prediction that Kevin McCarthy would be the loser. And still my loser this year. <laughs> uh, run out of the house and now is not even going to run. There were run a lot of, of losers. There the were a lot way. of losers, but I, the, the Biden comments. I mean, Susan, you need to turn Newsmax and, and even Fox off. It's, <laughs> that is just Kool-Aid. Read some objective and things. He's, in terms his appro approval rating is in the 30s. And Don. so was Trump's. Yeah, well, they're both sort of yeah. together. Yeah. There. But you I mean, forgot a big winner for 23, and that's people who believe in unidentified flying objects. Well, I am one of they them. They probably haven't had this good a year in a long time. <laughs> I am one of them. And well, you can thank our uh, local congressman we, for if, that. If, if Congressman Burchett just stays there, he can do no harm on meaningful issues, so he can have UFOs all day long. You predicted, Don, that the national issue of 2023 would be gridlock and the indictment of President Trump. Um, both one? of those hold. Which one? <laughs> yeah, both those hold, but that's ultimately that's not what I picked in watching what has developed. And it's abortion. I mean, abortion has not only is it an incredibly serious uh, issue to both men and women uh, in this country and, and women's reproductive health rights, but it has become a political hot potato, unlike anything that, uh, and I mentioned this earlier, that maybe we've seen since Vietnam. Is it a hot potato, though? I don't know that it's a hot potato because I think well, the people have one thought and then there's politicians. the politicians who are not getting uh, well, it. Well, I mean, the Republicans are terrified of this because they're expected to be, you know, pro, pro life all the way across the board and support some of these draconian pieces of legislation. And when they don't, mm -hmm. they get primaried, which is where, you know, their, their problem with gerrymandering, I say both sides have done it, but the Republicans have been far more ruthless. It's costing them now because they get run to the right and incumbents lose their seats to bigger whack jobs. Susan, uh, you had predicted like that, that don't you? <laughs> gridlock would be the issue, politics. Here's one thing that supports that prediction. There were 27 bills, bills passed right. in the House yeah. of Representatives and after 724 yeah. votes. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. There were only 27 mm. bills. There certainly has been gridlock. Um, so what's your national my issue? My national issue this year is the southern border. Mm. I mean, it's it's... 100,000 people every week are coming through there. There's no policy 
the, the border guards are frustrated. There's nowhere for these people to go. They're being housed in hotels in New York City and in various other cities around the country. And there's, there's nothing happening. There's no policy. It's just open How borders. could there be policy if your party won't get together and try to get something passed? Don, they tried to get something they passed. They haven't. I'm sorry. They tried to get that bill, a southern border bill passed along with support for Ukraine and it hasn't passed and, and that, in the Senate. And there was no way it was going to get through. There was no way it was coming all the way through. They didn't get anything passed in the House. No. What did they pass in the House? They went home. And you have the majority. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, by you two have, votes. Well, yeah. well, there you go. You have it and you couldn't pass it. No, it's, it's, it feels like they've been home more than they've been in safe. Yeah. Maybe well, we're safe that way. We're going to take a quick break on Inside Tennessee. Back with the Politician of the Year for 2023 from Don and Susan right after this. <laughs>